everyone, it's Alyssa here for our very first craft of 2021. We're going to be making something special for Hot Tea Month. January is Hot Tea Month, and so we're going to be making a tea candle. So if you have gotten a kit, you received a wick, this really cute glass tea mug, some wax, and some Earl Grey tea bags. I picked Earl Grey because it's so fragrant and it's one of my very favorites. Um, and if you got the tea tasting sampler bag, you also got some Earl Grey tea in there for you to drink. <laughs> All right, so this is really easy. If you did our candle last month, you'll know how quick and easy making candles is, but it's just a little easier and a little more fun when it's already set up for you. Um, other things that you need, you need a hot glue gun, uh, a pencil, and some oil. So what I did before I even started this video, I went ahead and I glued my wick using the hot glue right down to the center of the bottom of my glass. Uh, so you wanna put it as close to the center as possible. Mine might be like a little off. Um, <laughs> because once it's in the center, that means that it burns through your wax evenly. If it's off center, you're gonna have your, your candle kind of burning off to the side and you're gonna have all this leftover wax that the heat of the flame is not melting. So you want it to be as even in the center as possible. And then to help keep everything stable, you wrap it around the pencil and balance your pencil on top. That way when we pour our hot wax in here, your wick is not going to go everywhere and be all loosey-goosey. For the same reason, you don't want it to go askew to the side so that your candle burns evenly. Okay, so that is already done. I did that before I started the video. And what we're going to do next is um, get started with infusing our tea bags into the oil. So what we're basically doing is making our own natural, fresh, fragrance oil or essential oil. I am using coconut oil, um, which is easy to get. I'm sure many people have coconut oil already. Um, you should, If you're not using coconut oil, you should use any other neutral kind of oil, like a vegetable oil, avocado oil, something that doesn't have its own scent. Don't use olive oil because once you heat that up, especially like a good quality olive oil, you can smell it. You don't want that. You don't want it to interfere with this. So I'm doing the coconut oil because it doesn't really have much of a scent um, and it's very neutral and it melts nicely. So what you need is about a tablespoon. I'm kind of doing more of a, a heaping tablespoon and I'm gonna heat that up in my pot here. And then I'm gonna put the tea bags in. I have three tea bags for maximum uh, infusion. I'm just gonna pull the strings off so the strings don't get in there. And that's just that's just me. I don't I don't want the like the paper tag to um, get all funny in the oil. Okay. So it smells so good. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get my heaping tablespoon or two. This is a pretty big, this is a pretty big tea mug, so I just want to make sure that there's enough going in there. And this, this oil um, melts pretty quickly, the coconut oil. And I'm not going to put it on a high heat. We're not trying to boil anything or scorch anything, just a really low, warm heat until we add the candle wax. Okay, that should be good. All right, I'm just going to put this on warm so it's nice and low to the side and we're gonna let that start to melt and warm up. It should happen pretty quickly. Uh, obviously if you're using an oil that's already liquid you don't need to wait for it to melt like I am. You can just go ahead and toss your tea bags right on inside and you're just kind of waiting for everything to get soaked through and very fragrant. I just don't want to put the tea bags in until this oil melts because I don't want them to scorch. Okay, so the very last of my oil is melting down. So I'm going to go ahead and toss my tea bags in and make sure they get totally soaked through. Okay. 
So I'm just going to let this infuse for a little bit. Probably once you start smelling the, the tea, it should be pretty good. And kind of like tea, I can see that my oil is changing color a little bit. Use for a little bit. Okay, so this does not take very long. This smells delightfully of Earl Grey in here. It does smell just like I'm brewing tea, but also I don't want to fry the bags in the oil. So I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and pull these out. And don't, don't be upset if there's a little bit of tea. I don't know if you can see from the angle that we're on, but there's a little bit of tea from the, the bag kind of bursting a little bit. That's okay. So I'm just gonna pull these tea bags out. And I'm gonna go ahead and discard them. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my wax to let it melt down with the oil. And I just wanna make sure that I am stirring thoroughly uh, your, your wax is already pre-measured to be the right amount for your mug. And this oil and this pot are already pre-warmed, so it should go quickly. My wax and oil are now nice and clear and shiny. I can smell just a hint of the tea. It's very subtle, um, but it's there. And so the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little dropper and I have some orange essential oil and I'm just going to put in just a, maybe like two drops of the orange um, to enhance the bergamot that's in the Earl Grey. Um, and you can do this if you if you want. I know a lot of people have a lot of essential oils at home. You don't have to. I'm just going to do a little bit just to enhance. I'm going to go ahead and stir it in. And I'm going to get ready to pour it into my candle. So you want to be very careful, slow and careful. Turn this off first. smells good all right so that's it it's really easy so now I'm just gonna wait for this to dry and then I'll come back make sure that you leave it on an undisturbed surface if you are shaking it a little too much you might get some uneven edges around here and just remember it is quite hot it is not super hot you know it's not boiling water or anything but it is quite warm uh, quite hot so make sure it's not uh, at the reach of children make sure it's out of the reach of pets because that'll get really messy just leave it on a flat undisturbed service surface uh, depending on how the temperature and humidity is in your house it might take about an hour or two and then we will come back and we'll finish this up okay so wardrobe change actually it's a new day I let my candle dry overnight and here it is look at this this is a hefty candle I love I love this glass this is this was a good find so it's a very subtle smell I can smell a little bit of the orange but I can also smell a little bit of the just the fragrance of the bergamot and the tea leaves in general it's very subtle it's not overpowering so if you want yours to be stronger, what you're going to do is you're going to let yours steep in the oil longer. What I would do, if I were you, because you don't want to fry your tea bags, I was kind of getting close to deep frying. Again, that's why you want to keep it on like a low warm setting, the lowest setting on your stove. We're not trying to fry, we're not trying to bubble. 
um, and just let it steep in the hot oil longer if you want to remove it from the heat. I'm also going to give you five tea bags instead of three and just really let it let it steep in that oil. If you need to add a little extra oil, whichever oil you're using because you feel like the tea bag soaked up too much of the liquid, you can do that. I did add a little extra oil to mine and my candle still turned out just fine. It's still hardened. It looks great. You know, it's funny. You can see some of the tea leaves down at the bottom. It's fine with me. It's authentic and I love it. It is, it is very subtle, but it's very clean and I like it. <sighs> Definitely the perfect huga moment for January, right? I think we all need just a little calm and this is oh, this is just so nice. I love it. it. It is. It's very subtle, but it's so clean and light and it, to me the scent of tea is very relaxing and I hope it does the same thing for you. If you don't want to use Earl Grey, feel free to use tea that you have at home but again you do need several bags of the same kind of tea i just really love the scent of earl gray so that's what i've given you use whatever you'd like okay so i think that's it so i've let this dry overnight typically i would let it cure for about 24 hours to make sure everything is solid and your scent has bloomed appropriately uh cut your wick i probably should trim mine just a little bit more and, and after about 24 hours, you can go ahead and burn your candle. And that's, that's it. Grab yourself a cup of tea, light your candle, and just unwind. <laughs> All right, so that is it. Oh, you know what? One more thing. I know I mentioned this in the last candle video, but your, um, your pot... The way to clean this out, you can Google it the same way that you would clean out um, a candle jar. You just want to warm it up again and then pour water in, then let it cool. So the water will bring the wax to the top. It'll separate it from your um, from your pot or a glass. Let's say you want to reuse this after it's burned all the way down. Um, and then you can just scoop the wax off. Soy wax is also a little oily, so any residue that remains in your pot, you can go ahead and scrub it with very hot water and a lot of suds. So really fill up your sponge with some soap, some good lather, use really hot water. If there are any chunks, make sure you're not pouring that down the sink, but a little bit of oily residue is fine as long as you're using hot water. Um, if you uh, are using an essential oil or if you have a fragrance oil by any chance that you did add to enhance this, you don't want to put that in your pot um, unless you're like me. This is my dedicated soap making, candle making pot that was a dollar, you know. Um, but you don't want to mix any fragrance in there. You would want to um, add it, you know, maybe like pour into a little bowl first. Um, and then do that. I just don't like to add the fragrance in the pot because it can kind of stick around. Um, but that, that is it. Okay, so now that's it. I'm gonna say goodbye. I wish all of you a very happy rest of the month. I'll see you for next month's craft and I hope that you enjoy your wonderful brand new candle. All right, everyone. See you next time. Bye.